Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for Leo. This is going to be for the end of your January, going into February, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. We're going to take a look, look at your over energies regarding love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their current true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you need to know, outcome and advice. Uh, feel free to apply this to your own unique situation. Switch the roles if you want. Uh, keep in mind that this is just a general read. Take what resonates. Leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. Like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this. And leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. For those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. All right, so Leo, let's get started. All right, over energies for Leo. What is surrounding Leo regarding love and the person that they are connecting with? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for the end of your January. All right, we have the King of Wands that jumped out. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Leo here. The Knight of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Could be dealing with another Leo here. Or Capricorn, or Taurus, or Virgo, Aries, Sagittarius. We have the Chariot and the Hermit. Cancer energy, Virgo energy again. And then we have the Ten of Wands in the Sun. Leo, this is you right here. So I feel like you're going through some sort of awakening, some sort of spiritual awakening. There's this energy of releasing your burdens here and moving forward. So I feel like you've been in hermit mode and I feel like you're getting out of hermit mode right now, okay? Could be this energy of just perhaps focusing on your work, focusing on your career, working on yourself here. I don't see anyone in the picture right now, but we'll see what, uh, we'll, 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 we'll pull more cards and see what, what else is going on here. All right. King of Wands. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you're focusing on recovery. Recovering for yourself, healing here, doing inner work, perhaps recovering from your finances. You know, maybe a lot of money was going out. Maybe a lot of money was being taken from you, uh, perhaps in a prior situation that you were in here. The Knight of Pentacles. You have the Six of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you're recovering from your finances right now, okay? So, like I said, it could be a situation that, you know, someone here maybe took advantage of you in the past. Chariot. You have the Tower. Aries energy. Also Aquarius energy. So, Leo, you're going through a lot of changes here, and I feel like these changes are allowing you to get back on track. Uh, tell me about the Hermit. All right, we have the Eight of Wands. There's this energy of definitely moving on, moving on very, very quickly. Okay. What else do we have here? Eight of Wands. For some of you guys, you guys may be traveling, okay? So I feel like, you know, maybe you guys have taken some time out for yourself. We have the Ten of Pentacles here. I feel like maybe you might be releasing the ideas of, you know, a past relationship working out here. I just really feel like you're focusing on your money. Yeah, perhaps your, your own family here, the sun. Oh, we have the queen of cups. This could be someone that you're releasing here, okay? This is really interesting. You're releasing this person, but this person wants to reunite with you. We have the Three of Cups and the Ten of Cups here. So you had a relationship with the individual here that could have ended very abruptly. And I feel like when this ended, I feel like you utilized this time to do some work on your own. So I feel like you released this person and you feel like this person's coming back or trying to come back here. You only have that three of cups. Could be a third party situation. Could be a situation where this person just, you know, dropped you like a hot potato and went towards somebody else. 
but like I said, it just happened out of nowhere. This just happened out of nowhere. It just came, it, it seemed like this was going pretty well and just, and then just out of nowhere, this person just left. Okay. Perhaps left to be in another relationship. Leo, tell me about Leo's person, the person that Leo is dealing with here. What are their true feelings and intentions towards Leo for the end of January going into February? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, signs. Could be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces with that Queen of Cups. I do feel like this person sees you as their happiness. You might see this person as your happiness. You might realize that, you know, at one point, this person was your happiness, but I feel like you're moving on from it. And at the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, this is the Queen's energy. This is the Queen of Cups' energy. Their intentions are to restart things here with you. They want to offer you a commitment. You know, I'm feeling like an energy that this person went towards someone. They thought it was going to work out. It didn't work out. And now they're coming back. We have the world in the hangman. So... Like I said, this person left you and now they're coming back. The problem is this person has one foot in the door and one foot out. I feel like this person has a history of doing that. I'm feeling like this person has a history of running around, seeking the next best thing here. Yeah, you see, you have the seven of cups on the top of the deck. Yeah, this person runs around. Yeah, this person runs around seeking the next best thing. I feel like this person rushes in impulsively, okay? And doesn't really think um, they just do it for the sake of doing it. Could be dealing with the Pisces here with the hangman. We have the Four of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles right here. So we have someone here. Perhaps is missing you. This person is definitely walking in to offer you a cup of love, to offer you a pentacle. Uh, the thing is, I feel like you might reject the, reject this person. Maybe. I do. What else do we have? Ace of Pentacles. We have the Emperor here. Aries Energy. Ten of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, you know, I feel like you're in this energy of turning your back on this person. And also, you're just like, I've done this before. I don't want to do it again. Sort of been there, done that. You know, you're, it's, I mean, this King of uh, Wands is basically uh, transcending and elevating themselves to an Emperor. I mean, this is like a wiser energy, a more mature energy. Uh, maybe in the past, Leo, you could, if this, uh, if this opportunity did come up, you know, for a second chance or a third chance, you might have taken it. The world. We have the Knight of Cups. I do feel like this water energy is definitely trying to come back here. The Hangman. Uh, yeah. Knight of Wands. So this person's trying to... I would not be surprised if this person came back and flashed their private parts to you to get you into bed too. This person's really sexual, by the way. This person's very flirty, too, okay? Can be, this person can be very romantic. Uh, the thing is, I just feel like this person's not giving her, or has never really given you the stability that you're, you're looking for, Leo. Uh, four of Cups, and then the Four of Swords. I mean, there's this energy of definitely disengaging here. I do feel like this person, I, I I don't know, I'm feeling like this person has ants in their pants. This person can just cannot stay in one place for a long time. Knight of Pentacles. Sometimes this person comes in, you know, all stable, balanced, and then out of nowhere, this person switches like a flip, uh, like a switch. I mean, we have the, all these knights here. This is telling me that this person is like, extremely flighty. The Page of Cups. I mean, this person de definitely wants another chance here. And, you know, I'm, 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 I'm kind of hearing you say, Leo, I've been there, done that. I'm not doing that again. I mean, we have a queen that's manifesting a reunion here with you, re manifesting a reconciliation. This person could be breadcrumbing you, okay? This person could be in this energy of like, oh, we have this great connection. Things are great. You know, this person might, you know, play mind games here or gaslight you or something like that. This person is very emotionally manipulative, okay? Um, what else do we have for Leo? Outcome and advice for Leo regarding their love situation for the end of January going into February. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. What else does Leo need to know here? Sorry if you hear like a 
like kind of like a buzzing sound or like a boiling sound. I'm heating up my um, lunch with the Three of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. The thing is, I feel like this person's coming back because this person's feeling lonely. I do believe that this person misses you, but you know, it could be a, a, a situation with money too. Maybe this person doesn't have a place to live. We have the Emperor here in the Six of Pentacles. Um, I feel like that Six of Pentacles should be in the reverse because I just feel like you're not giving to this anymore, okay? Like I said, this king has evolved from a, a king to an emperor. So we have the Ace of Swords and the Eight of Wands. So I feel like you're pretty clear. I, play, I feel like you're pretty clear about your boundaries regarding this queen. I just feel like you want nothing to do with this individual. Tell me about the Three of Cups. This person is definitely coming back for a purpose because, you know, I feel like you really take took care... I feel like you really took really good care of this individual. I feel like you really nurtured this individual with, you know, your energy. You know, perhaps you did give this person money because they were struggling with money. Maybe you bought things for this person and maybe you really took advantage of that. Uh, Three of Cups. Two of Cups. Yeah. Okay, so this person is definitely looking to reconcile here with you, okay? Um, the thing is, I just feel like you're not going for it, Leo. Five of Pentacles and a Chariot. Yeah, I just feel like you're just going to keep trotting forward. You're not looking back, the Emperor. Because I feel like there's this energy where you, you basically you've come really far and you don't want to disrupt your progress here. Uh, Six of Pentacles. I mean, there's... You're definitely in this much wiser energy. You're definitely seeing uh, through this person that's coming back. We have the King of Pentacles here. Yeah, I do feel like this person might be coming back for money. You might be a very successful business owner, Taurus. Could be dealing with the Taurus. I'm so sorry. Uh, Leo, okay? You could be dealing... Or you might have Taurus in your chart, Leo. Okay? Ace of Swords. All right, we have the Lovers. Gemini energy. So energies we have here, uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Pisces, Gemini, Cancer, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You know, I'm getting all energies across the board. I mean, it could be anyone. Um, I mean, it doesn't matter. It's just the energies that are coming up. But I am seeing all the energies here. Eight of Wands and the Eight of Cups. Yeah, you're just walking away from this. You're cutting this out. And you just don't want this relationship anymore, okay? I feel like you're pretty clear on just not accepting this queen's offer. You're just clear on not accepting this queen's offer, Leo. What else do we have for Leo regarding their love situation for the end of January going into February? Sun, moon, rising, and being a signs. Being love. Exude love in all that you do. Oneness, like, attracts like unconditionally loving self and all. I feel like this is you showing yourself self-love. Yeah, I feel like you're enjoying the journey. The fun is getting there. Acknowledge your prog- Yeah, so I feel like you are just not going back because you just made so much progress. Um, what else do we have for Leo? Yeah, Longing. Someone is secretly yearning for you. Yeah, I do feel like someone from your past is coming back. Trust. It's safe to. It's safe to trust in this situation. You know, I feel like trust is more trusting. Trusting yourself. You know, un unavailable. This person's. I feel like you're trusting that this person's unavailable because I feel like this person has been unavailable for you before. Like I said, this person takes advantage of you. What else do we have for Leo here? Happily ever after. You're stepping into your happily ever after, a future filled with filled with so much joy and personal fulfillment. I just feel like you're looking after yourself. Yeah, I feel like you're just stepping away from this toxic love here. This could have been the toxic situation that you've been with this person. Yeah, I, I just feel like, you know, it yeah, I keep I keep hearing I've been there, done that. I'm not doing it again. 
All right, so Leo, I hope this was helpful. I hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe, hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.